look at these three upcoming extreme demons. Each of them represents a certain branch of Slaughterhouse levels or remakes, while Slaughterhouse itself is a remake of the original classic 2.0 Impossible level. There are many levels that have popped up like this recently that are clearly inspired by Slaughterhouse. Grief is the prequel sequel to Slaughterhouse that is a remake of the old Slaughterhouse while including elements from the new one, but that's the only official one. Kakmok is a remake that takes itself very seriously and the Rock House is, well, it's about drive, it's about power. So yeah, there's a growing trend of making Slaughterhouse-inspired levels. These can be directly inspired, like Koskmok, or subtly similar, like The Human Limit. So today, I will give my thoughts on each of the upcoming Slaughterhouse remakes and the trend as a whole. Although I won't be going over the more subtly inspired levels like The Human Limit, because I don't really count those as Slaughterhouse remakes, they're more their own thing. Also, my friend Alex recently made a Jump Stretch Wordle video where I tried to play Wordle, emphasis on try, but the words are all Jump Stretch levels or creators. If you're interested, the link is in the description. I'd highly recommend watching it. For the series remakes, let's take Kakmok as an example. Kakmok is an upcoming top 5 extreme demon that is a nerf version of an impossible layout that is literally just Slaughterhouse but with more space and a different song and a different color scheme. The sole thing that really sets this level apart from Slaughterhouse is that it's a Russian glow style level and not a hell level. The reason I don't like this level, even though its decoration is pretty good, is because it just lacks originality. The layout is just a nerf version of some lazy impossible layout that probably wasn't meant to be taken seriously in the first place. Overall, there needs to be something original about the gameplay in addition to the decoration. Let's say, for example, it was nerfed to be extended list difficulty. This is pure purely hypothetical, I'm not really suggesting this. This would mean that more people could try a slaughterhouse style level that's hopefully more fun, for fun that's actually within their skill range. Now I'm not saying that this level should be nerfed, but in its current state there isn't anything unique about it, and its good decoration is wasted on an unoriginal impossible layout. Also, I don't know if this is top 1 again, or like is meant to be top 1 again, like they're just going to go back to the old version. I, I don't speak Russian or keep up with all the cherry team stuff, so I mean, let me know in the comments, I don't really know what's going on exactly with that level. So maybe there is room for Kakmok but there are so many levels just like this all over YouTube, most of which are probably just for views, but some of them are actually planned to be decorated and released. I don't think we need another 9 circles trend that leads to garbage levels like Poltergeist being raided. So I hope at the very least Rob doesn't rate most of these. I mean, hey, AOD isn't rated because we rate good levels like Arcturate or, or Thinking Space. Yeah, we, we rate good levels here. Pretty much everything I said about Kakmok applies to many of the series remakes. They all have like one thing not even always one thing, but one thing sometimes that makes them slightly different, but other than that, the whole idea and gameplay is unoriginal. In fact, my April Fool's video was making fun of this trend, but people are actually making these levels, like, unironically. Like, I saw one the other day that was literally just, like, Slaughterhouse, but it used the song without Vince Staples in the pre-drop. Like, what? Overall, I think most of these levels will just die off, even if they are planned to actually be finished, with the exception of popular-ish levels like Kakmok or Grief, but we'll talk more about Grief later anyways. Next up are the joke remakes. There is one joke level that needs to exist. One, the Rock House. I think this might have been the first joke remake. If not, it was the one that popularized the idea. And I think one is enough, considering that there is a plethora of non-joke remakes already. Because these are joke levels, I don't think any of them are actually being planned to be released other than like the Rock House. And while it would be funny seeing levels like the Napesta House or something on the list, I highly doubt we'll ever get that, and I think that might not be the worst thing considering the joke kind of gets stale after a couple levels. The funny thing about the Rock House specifically is that it's better well made than like half of the upcoming top ones anyways, so I mean, hey, if it, if it places top one, I think that'd be great. It, it's not going to, but I don't know. I think the Rock House is the only level I've mentioned so far that I think I 100% want to be rated. I have mixed feelings about Kakmok, but maybe I'll make a separate video about that. But I think the Rock House would be awesome if it was on the list. Then again, Robtop hasn't been rating like anything lately. Diabolic Clubstep isn't rated. AOD isn't rated. Shuketsu isn't rated. I don't think Quantum Dynamics is rated, but I haven't checked in like a week, so maybe that one's rated by now. I mean, it is a Riot level. So other than these two categories, there's not really much else, but there is one level that stands out, and that's purely because it's official. It's the official sequel or prequel or what, I don't, I'm gonna call it a sequel, I don't care. Grief. This isn't necessarily a good upcoming extreme, but it's not necessarily a terrible one either. I really like that it sticks to the original 2.0 Slaughterhouse, but it also includes new elements and an extension, but like, come on Ice Cave, you already made a remake that doesn't resemble the original at all, so don't expect this is actually going to get the top 1 spot, you've already had your top 1 demon. I think pretty much the only reason I kind of like this level is because, well, it's an actual remake of Slaughterhouse. 
Recently, everyone's been making slightly nerfed copies of old impossible levels, you know, like Scoop and Circles, or Silent Circles, or Silent Club Step, but that's unnerfed. And I think the slaughterhouse that we currently have that Space UK verified doesn't really do the old one justice. It just isn't similar at all, so, I mean, that's why I'm okay with Grief coming out. I just don't really see it being a top one with the, just, all of the top ones coming up. Anyway, Space UK will just say it's easier than Slaughterhouse, so that might backfire a little bit. This is probably the only other level I've talked about that I think might be rate-worthy, but then again, we haven't seen the decoration yet, so I don't know. So the trend as a whole. The Slaughterhouse remake trend sort of mirrors the Nine Circles one. At first, the remake is kind of interesting because, oh look, it's in purple, but after that, it gets kind of repetitive and annoying really fast. At least with Nine Circles, you only need to just include one simple effect, leaving lots of creative room so you can get stuff like Aerial Gleam down in the future, or like Arctic Lights or something. But with this, it's a very, very, very specific thing. It has to have a specific gameplay, specific atmosphere, specific, like just a whole formula and at, like everything, leading to basically a clone army. The joke levels are funny for a bit, but it'll get stale after the rock house is verified and like maybe one other level is verified, and everyone will just go back to their stupid back on track jokes. I don't know, I just wanted to make a video on this because it's kind of annoying to see these all over YouTube because it's just the same joke over and over again. Like, oh look at this top one that you all, you guys have all seen, haha <laughs> funny, I'm gonna like make it funny now. Um, which was funny the first time, but now I've seen like too many of them, it's just, oh, it's just annoying. Anyways, the whole thing's gonna die out, it already has basically started to. Whenever Slaughterhouse is dethroned, it, it's gone completely, everyone will just make Abyss of Darkness ripoffs or something else. Also, thank you everyone for 700 subscribers. I, yeah, that's cool. But yeah, then that, that's it. Subscribe to help me feed my dog or something, I don't know, I like the video.